Now we come to chapter 8 here, and we've come to really a break now in this. And here in this chapter, the young man has been examining the literature of the different colleges and the school of wisdom and the school of fools are bidding for him to make application. And it's wisdom now that really sends out an invitation to him. And there's an urgency and a note of pressure that's put upon the young man now. Will you listen to it? The school bell's going to ring before long, and they want this young man enrolled. You see, he's been lured and enticed to leave the school of wisdom. Listen to this now. Chapter 8, verse 1. Doth not wisdom cry, and understanding put forth her voice? And believe me, if the cults and isms are out today on the street and ringing doorbells, let's let God's people do that also. I'm thankful for the very fine organizations, especially working among the young that are out ringing doorbells today, out doing personal witness. Why? Because doth not wisdom cry. She ought to be out there. And understanding put forth her voice. She standeth in the top of high places, by the way in the places of the paths. She crieth at the gates, at the entry of the city, at the coming in at the doors. Unto you, O man, I call, and my voice is to the sons of man. And that's what this radio is all about. We're trying to send out a call to come to the school of wisdom and to come to wisdom personally. And Christ has been made unto us wisdom. And it's to come to Christ. O ye simple, are you willing to take that position? Say you're not adequate. Say you are a sinner. And that you really don't have intellectual problems. What a joke today to hear these folk. This young fellow came to me, I have intellectual problems. You know what he had? He didn't have intellectual problems. He had a sin problem. And he didn't want to give up his sin. My friend, if you want to give up your sin, turn to Christ. You'd be amazed how your intellectual problems will be solved. O ye simple, verse 5, understand wisdom, and ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. Hear, for I will speak of excellent things, and the opening of my lips shall be right things. What a picture we have. 